Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra and today I'm kicking off the Kendra's card challenge number 13 February super sponsor giveaway video hop. <laughs> that was a mouthful. My team members and I are sharing cards created using challenge 13 sketches and products from a few of our prize super sponsors. There will be a giveaway prize for this video hop where you can have a chance to win a digital download from me which includes sentiment strips and digital pattern papers in the colors of the new February color palette challenge that I introduced in my video on February 1st. So if you missed that, I'll have it linked above, but I'll explain more about the giveaway here in a bit, so stick around to find out how to enter. If you're new to my channel and not familiar with my quarterly card making challenges, I provide a free PDF printable where you can make 15 cards using six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. Plus you can have a chance to win lots of prizes by sharing your creations throughout the quarter. The quarterly challenge runs from January 1st to March 31st of 2024. And we have over 20 company prize sponsors plus lots of other prizes totaling more than $1,000. There are prizes drawn each month and at the end of the quarter. I have a video that explains all about the challenge and it shows how to cut the papers using the cutting guides, plus it gives all the details that you need to know in order to enter. I'll link this introduction video to challenge 13 above and in the description box. You can also find out how to download the free printable at kendrascardchallenges.com. The super sponsor that I'm featuring in my video today is Trinity Stamps. They were super generous and sent some of the design team members products to create with and Tracy with Not Afraid of Color was nice enough to share some of them with me. Now for today's project, I'm using the stamp set called To My One and Gnomely from the January release. It has these adorable little gnomes with hearts and there's love themed sentiments that's perfect for Valentine's Day or even just to let someone know that you love them or your ha happy anniversary. There's several different things you could do with this, but there's smaller ones that fit inside the hearts, those sentiments, and there's also coordinating dies available. I also use the uh, six by six paper pad called Love Danny that has some colorful patterns. There's hearts and stripes and dots, but I've selected these three patterns here in the different pink and red shades. I've selected some coordinating colored cardstock for my stash, but I'll be making two cards today and showing how you can turn basically any card that has a large panel into an easel card. The printable that I offer shows 15 card sketches with measurements for each component on each of the sketches. So if you don't want to make all 15 cards, you can just make one or a few. But I'll be using sketches five and six for my cards today, since you, you can basically get a two for one card with the papers. So I'm cutting my layers out of the red cardstock and then cutting the pattern paper pieces so that I have two panels that measure three and a half by four and three quarter inches. And then I'm gonna cut both of these panels at the same time at a diagonal so I can make sure that they're the same size. And then next I'm gonna take some washi tape to tape them back together and I can turn it at the other diagonal to make the other cut. Now you don't have to do this, you can just hold them together and cut it, but it's really easy for it to slip and mess up the cut. But now that they're cut, I'm removing the washi tape and then I place them on the red layers as shown on the sketch. I decided to use both sides of the paper so that my cards are different. So for one card, I'm making it a regular A2 size card and for the other, I'm making it an easel card. So to do this, you'll take a four and a quarter by 11 inch cardstock and score it at five and a half inches. And then you'll score it again at two and three quarter inches so that it looks like a regular card base, but it'll have that mountain fold there in the middle of the front. And then next I glued the pattern paper pieces onto the red panels and I accidentally forgot to put the cap back on my glue in my precision glue press the last time I used it and I left it on the holder but I must have knocked it off of that silicone stopper so my glue is stopped up and I'll have to deal with that in a second but I'm glad that I had this extra bottle near nearby. Now that my triangles are glued down I'm adding some Love From Lizzie peel off stickers along the seams. I'm using pink glitter sticker strips for one card and white glitter sticker strips for the other. Now that I have the pattern paper part figured out, I'm going to stamp my images using my Misty stamping platform, using Expressit blending cardstock and Memento tuxedo black ink since it's Copic marker friendly. 
and I'm stamping multiple sheets because I like making cards in bulk. Plus, if I ever need a quick card, I'll have them ready to go. I used the coordinating dies to cut them out, and I kept the dies on the first sheet that I stamped so that I could use it as a template and easily line up the next sheet behind it to cut out the rest. You just have to be careful not to remove the low-tack tape and just try to carefully pop out the images. And I repeated the same process until I had everything cut out. Now I'm taking this cute image of the two gnomes kissing and using my Copic markers to color them in. And while I do this, I'll explain more about the giveaway. This giveaway video hop runs from February 3rd through February 13th of 2024. And as mentioned before, I'll be randomly selecting a winner for a digital download after the hop ends. But to enter the giveaway, you just need to complete the form that's linked in the description box after you've completed the hop. I'm sure all of the team members participating would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe at each stop along the way. They will all be sharing projects from our awesome prize super sponsors. So I hope you'll check out these wonderful companies to see what all they have to offer. I have a list of all of the online stores in the description box as well. Some of these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And this helps to support my work. Any support you can give is greatly appreciated and it helps to keep my challenges free each quarter. The prize for this hop is the February 2024 bonus printable, which is available for download by all paid patrons as one of the benefits of my membership program over on my Patreon page. Starting at just $5 a month, you can receive these bonuses plus access to a year's worth of previous challenge printables, a printer friendly version of the challenge, and a shout out on my challenge videos. These bonus printables can include digital card making kits, digital sentiments, one sheet wonders, fun fold card tutorials, and more. And for $10 as an all access patron, you can receive everything I've already mentioned, plus early access to new card challenges, access to all previous card challenges, and a card making kit sampler, and access to all bonus printables current and past. And for $25, VIP patrons receive additional benefits on top of what's already been mentioned. And these include a handmade card from me, a monthly card making kit, and a crafty live stream session each quarter. For more information, visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's card challenges. Okay, back to my card. For the easel part, I'm using the Simply Sentimental Kisses stamp set and coordinating dies. I cut out the word kiss several times to make a thick enough piece where the edge of the card can rest against it to make the easel stand up. And I cut out three outlines of the kiss word out of red cardstock and the letters out of white cardstock. Now this is glued to the inside of the card toward the bottom. Now I should have stamped what goes above the word kiss before gluing it down, but no worries. I added the stamp that says sealed with a to the very bottom of an acrylic block and was able to stamp it above the kiss without any issues um, using VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And so now that this is done, I just need to add the panel to the front of the card. So while that dries, I'm going to glue on the little gnome that's holding the string of hearts right in the middle of this other card. And I'm placing him on top of the sentiment that says to gnome you is to love you. And then for the easel card, I placed the panel on top of the card base so that I could mark where the fold is going to go and um, make sure to only add glue to that bottom part where the pencil line is. This will sit behind the kiss die cuts when it's opened. And then to finish off the cards, I added some Stickles glitter glue to the hearts. I think these turned out super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. You'll find a link to the playlist that has all of the videos for this hop in the description box below. I'd like to invite you to join in on the challenge if you're not already participating. It really is a lot of fun. And if you're not already a member of the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group, I hope you'll request to join. This is a private group, so you'll have to agree to some group rules before you'll be approved. But you'll find a wonderful community of card makers. Remember to enter the giveaway, complete the form in the description box when you're done watching each of the videos. I'd like to take a moment to thank Trinity Stamps for being a super sponsor, plus all of the other company prize sponsors. I'd also like to thank all of my patron members. Your generosity and support means so much. I really appreciate you watching this video today. I can't wait to see what you create and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.